Hello and welcome back to the Doorcast, episode 93, I believe, I can tell you, I'm pretty sure that we're in there. Uh, my guest this week is Mr. John Devlin. What's happening? How are we? Oh, grand, do you know what I mean? Good. Travelling to Belfast is a funny thing, like you end up yeah. sitting beside somebody who, you know, the whole bus is fucking do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But this one person just says, hey, it's like, I'm going to sit beside you today, yeah. and then not. Yeah, word, word to you at all. You know, just every so often look yeah. at what you're doing on your phone and all. I do a bit of I do a bit of bad spreading on the bus. Well oh, well wow. not 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 to be that guy, but like especially in the mornings where it's like packed and you've like all the school kids getting on the bus and you're I'm coming into Belfast, like seriously. So like I, I put, put first I put my bag on the seat mm-hmm. as sort of like last resort, you sit here. Aye. Um but I'm also not a monster, so like if it's getting to the stage where there's like three spaces left on the bus and one of them is my bag is taken up. Yeah. I'll move my bag because it could be an elderly woman that gets on. Aye. No issue there. Mm-hmm. But I will, you know, I'm a tall guy. I do need a bit of leg room. So the odd time. It's also weird as well because then they come in and then they, they sit down and they're sometimes they're not in the mood to chat, but like they, they sort of do that sort of turn away Aye, from you slightly. From me. Mm-hmm. Which, like, don't get me wrong, if I have my AirPods in, I don't want to speak to you yeah. like on the <laughs> bus. But there is just like an unknown rule of, an unspoken rule of like, we don't really want to talk to each other. Aye. Um, but yeah, you're from Margaret yeah? Aye, aye. Fair play. Aye, we're somewhere in between Colchie and Tony. You right, know what okay. I mean? But from all you uh, that <laughs> yeah. live in Belfast, like there, there is a life outside of it, you know what I mean? Okay, that's We're good. not all city folk. Right. You know? Um, um, but aye, pretending to be from Belfast, though, is the greatest gift I ever had. I had in no the idea. event yeah. that um, I say one or two really bad things and then masked men come to my house, yeah. they're going to have to take a wee while to find <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, 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 so yeah. That was I, the plan. I had no idea that you were anywhere here, there. So I don't know how to take you on the bus. 45 minutes or so. That's not you know? too bad, actually. Ah, yeah. See, the Great issue is you're, you've done it all wrong. You know, the bag's an amateur move. What you really need to do is dress like somebody who's going to be slightly dangerous. Yeah. Not completely, but just slightly. Just enough you know, enough like, where they look at you and go, no, no. not him. Not there, him. Are, there, is, there is times, definitely, I've, I've, I've stood instead of taking a seat. Really? Like, oh, 100%. Just over them? Like, just, okay. well, yeah, just like, <laughs> like sweat, like <laughs> drool, like on top of their mouth. No, I'm just, I, there'll be times I walk in and I'm just like, or get on the bus, uh, and uh, you see a, a character that's like, e- even in terms of like, I hate awkward, so like, I don't tell you. There'll be times. Is this about your uh, food, just ate? Yeah, food yeah. delivery, mm. where like, I'll, I'll happily order some food, but I'm not going to get it. Aye. Someone else can answer the door. Mainly because I just, I hate, I'm not as bad as I, as I was. I but actually a do years think ago. there's a podcast ages ago, maybe about four years ago, yeah. episode like nine, yeah. where nine. Daniel orders a uh, just eight for himself. Mm-hmm. The big donor mate. Not for me. Donor meat and chips. Not Love for it. me. Speaking of donor meat, he had it yesterday as well. He's not off it. Yeah. Nah, he loves, loves the bob. Look. Love for loves the, the bob. And I, I have to run off and get it. Aye. Like, you're, it's, it's social interactions with delivery drivers. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm not as bad as I was. I'll tell you what, I had this last night. Mm-hmm. Sitting went to the captain's table in Glen Ormley. Um, packed out the rafters. But we got, a wee, got a wee booth at the back. We uh-huh. knew who the booth we were. We didn't. But like, <laughs> we walked in and gave us a wee booth at the back. And I ordered this thing called the Keynes Envelope. Red. The Keynes Envelope is like a pizza. But imagine like you, you make a pizza and all the cheese is up that way. Yeah. You like almost flip it. Put chicken tikka and donor meat inside. Mm-hmm. Fold it so the cheese is now back on top, and it's like a huge, like partial thing. And it, you know, it, it could kill a man. Like, it, Aye, you set it down, it's like artery clogged. Yeah, like. girl set it down, and you were like, No, nah, nah, that's a tactic. Um, but yeah, I'd highly recommend Captain Stable if you want to sponsor, send a few keen envelopes our way. There you go, free tickets to the next show or whatever. 100%. <laughs> I thought um, it was gonna be one like that. <laughs> <laughs> Same on the microfilm. Uh, um, <laughs> in terms of like how you got started, Aye. how long have you been doing this for? Like, I thought about this recently, man. It's been like nearly three years I've been doing this. Okay. Um, and I started it off with a night. Like, I started off from doing music. I'm a, like, I'm a musician originally. Okay. And then I thought, like, this isn't fucking working. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like an average musician at best, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm better than some people, in <laughs> you know, but not the best. <laughs> there it is, folks. <laughs> I'm saying no more. Back. We'll say no more. Yeah. But, um, you know, you know. the, uh, the present, big, sorry. yeah, so, I'll pay a shout out to them. The, um, the, the original way I sort of started was I thought to myself, like, what the f- 
like what is people not talking about and what are people you know whatever i don't know it's in northern Ireland. the only people I've ever seen appear on it was like your man giddy and then you know jed and all them yeah, ones yeah. i don't know just obviously apart from the established comedians like she and todd and, yeah. and colin Geddes and all the rest i thought like f- it. like why not just try and start a, a separate comedy thing on tiktok yeah like a, like, like a really virtual like a so stupid like a virtual so uh, you know, uh, yeah, 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 and yeah. I always add a degree in film or whatever that she did absolutely fuck all about. Right. Still, basically, do <laughs> 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 but um, the the whole point was just literally to to try and create like a. I had this I had this really dumb idea. I was literally just like, what if you just didn't pick a side? Because I oh, that's the other thing I noticed was like everybody was being either Catholic, Protestant, or Irish, or Union, you know, Union, just or whatever. I thought like, what if you just were completely ambiguous about the entire thing? Fair <laughs> you know, I yeah, yeah, went yeah. off that, and I discovered it was weird. I discovered a middle ground that like nobody else had, had tapped right, into, yeah, yeah. Uh, where everybody was just like, I will take a piss. Because there, because from watching your videos, mm-hmm. now that I think about it, you know, I still don't know, and I don't uh, care. But like, you know, I could tell whether you're Catholic, Protestant, whatever. Like, don't know. Um, you can ask me the questions. Are you Catholic or Protestant? No, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> not that one. Um, but, uh, like, you like you actually, you couldn't tell, because, you, you know, you, when I say you take digs at both sides, uh, I mean, yeah. like, you know, you, no, you're you, right. do, def- uh, you do different uh-huh. videos with different sides, and, like, uh, it's good. And people, I think, with those videos, like, I think people, they connect on a level with the, in terms of whether, you know, Northern Ireland, Belfast stuff. Uh, and then they also connect with like what you know the Star Wars video, <laughs> yeah. James Bond or whatever uh-huh. it is. Was there a particular one that you were like, oh, this is like blown up? Oh, or I the, the best, the best one, I, like the worst and best one I ever did was St Paddy's Day. Right. Um, so I ended up last year, like St Paddy's Day last year. I did. I had this really dumb idea where I never tapped in. I noticed a couple of Americans starting to notice the content, and they're like, oh man, we're from, yeah. you know, we have we have uh, you know, uh, fuck relatives in Kilkenny or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. like, oh. That's Northern Ireland, I 100%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, um, so I ended up, uh, I thought to myself, like, how can I tar- how can I really target the American audience? Mm-hmm. And I just, uh, the idea came to me, it was like, wh- what what the Americans think uh, is how St. Patrick got rid of the snakes in Ireland. Yes. And I just made it this fucking ridiculous 1980s style like, action film. <laughs> yeah. you know? And I made it, it was only about 40 seconds long. It was literally just like, it was basically the end of it. was It started off uh, with him coming in with like an M4 and a sword. <laughs> and, and the end of it was him flying an Apache helicopter, right, just right. nuking all of the <laughs> snakes. <Yeah. you> know? <laughs> and I just thought to myself, like, that's going to go nowhere on my channel, yeah. you know. So I loved it. I've loaded it really random time at like twelve o'clock at night. And I was like, yeah. right, okay, I was go to sleep. Woke yeah. up the next day. I was going to Belfast for the, for the parade or whatever. Okay. And I got there and um, like, I I didn't look at all. And then I noticed it was like when it, when I clicked on it, it was like five hundred thousand views. I was like, what? Mm. Okay. And it was a pilot. Do you know the best part of it was was like, I, I went to America that night, right? And all the ones, all the Americans were loving it and all the rest. My favorite comment that got from it though yeah. was people actually losing their. Sh- and I realized yeah, something. Yeah. I was like, "Oh my god, controversy does sell." Yeah, yeah. you know. But it was the weirdest <laughs> controversy I've ever had. Mm-hmm. They were arguing, saying that like I had, I was being uh, not racist. I was being like uh, a dick about um, the druids in Northern Ireland. You know, the pagans. I was offending the pagan right, culture okay. or whatever. I didn't really. I thought they were all gone. All I'm sorry. Them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Um, it ended up apparently out of pile of ones coming in and being all like, "This is not how it happened." You know, this is not how it happened. Really? The, uh, s- the snakes yeah. um, are obviously snakes a representation yeah. of the Druid people that were slaughtered by, yeah. by St. Patrick. And I was like, fuck, that's mad, mate. Like, I didn't realize they had Apache helicopters yeah, back yeah, yeah. then. Either, Wasn't you know, that like, a gun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but that was probably my most viral hit. Um, how, how many views is that? It on? ended up on 1.6 million or something. Oh. So it was weird, man. It was, I don't, like, it's weird because obviously when I did this, I knew for a fact I'm only hitting Northern Ireland. I don't really care about the rest of... Or Ireland too, Like, but I don't really care about going outside of the island. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, it'd be cool if I did, but it doesn't really bother me. At least at the time. And uh, now it's sort of starting to pick up in places like... Agnid. It's always people who have relati- relations over here. Yes, you know, somebody right. who remind them of their, I don't know, Ra Granda or something. You know what I mean? Um, But that's just... I guess that's the way it is, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, like, that blows up. And then do you find that, like... You know, do, when people obviously like a views of you, but like mm-hmm. you know, do you find you had like a real follower increase from that? And then like when I say, like there is like a fan base of like your Aye. sort of like it's weird. your new video because like I don't know, I don't know what you had at the moment, mm-hmm. but like you know, there there like there's like a certain style. Aye. There is like you know, it's not like the highest production. Aye. There's there's a craft in it. Aye, it's like um, it's, deli- it's clearly deliberate. Aye, it's it, to to cite you guys, it's like. 
Zack Snyder, but on the door, or Michael yeah, Bay, but on the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really ironic. Like, yeah. It's like I, I took inspiration from those like Indian videos. Did you ever see the ones on online of the ones that do like the, uh, le- the or like uh, what is it like? You, is, like it, is it the African? You, I like you, the I like Uganda and Captain, Uganda Captain America Uganda or something. Yeah, you know what yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what um, like, Yes, Captain America. Like, I just they're like they're like real cheap knockoffs uh, of like yeah. yeah. yeah the big I found a real um. I found a real like comic comedic element to taking something yeah, really yeah. seriously, but it looking absolutely. Yes, shit, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the idea that like, but like, sorry, <laughs> who killed Captain Alex? Ah, uh, that African film. Ah, uh, thank you. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, go home and watch it, folks. Uh, uh, shout uh, shout out the, the directors <laughs> of <laughs> <laughs> who killed Captain Alex. Um, yeah, it's one of those ones where like the, there there's a style, and I'm sure like you know the more you know, more thoughts and thoughts you get, you could probably say to yourself, listen, I could maybe actually kind of up. Th- not in terms of the quality, but uh, like you know, the animation or something. Yeah. But you're like, but there is, there's like a niche. And I do think people from here as well appreciate that sort of uh, like I niche so. of like, uh, <laughs> you know, there's a, it's not awful, but it's like it's poorly edited enough that uh, it's like you know, the the, the low angle of uh, like the face and everything and everything. It's great. <laughs> well, people get it. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like nobody like the one thing I get slagged all the time, but nobody's ever slagged me about my edit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. It's great to see, and like uh, obviously now. You say you have a podcast yourself now? Starting the podcast. We right started okay. with four episodes in of it now. Okay, so uh, The Well Horse Podcast. Right, okay. It's a real culty podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you know. um, but we're enjoying it. It's a nightmare. Do you know the crack? Like it's, it's an absolute nightmare to roll these nightmare. bastards. Yeah, don't mind. Um, but Wish I didn't do it. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, aye, it's fun running it with two other fellas. Uh, shout out to John and uh, Fergal out there okay. somewhere doing something. You know what I mean? They're, they're, like, they're I doing know, something somewhere. One, yeah, of, them's, yeah, one yeah. of them's bald as a moustache. Like I love him to death. You know, like he's doing well. He looks like an 18th century like vaude villain. You know, um, I respect him for yeah, it. You yeah. know, I respect him for the look, at the very least. But yeah, um, it's good crack. Uh, and then I started the stand-up thing recently as well, which has been fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, wasn't something I was sort of ever thinking I would get into. And then I think it's the natural progression of everybody. Yeah. Uh, and uh, sort of you start off doing videos first and then they, they lead into something. Yeah. Um, It's fun. Could terrify him, but it's, it's good crack, you Actually, know? What was, what, was the, what was the step? Like, what was, what were, you know, was there a specific night you were like... Do you know what, I think I'm just going to fly down to Belfast and go for this? Or? I, I, it wasn't. It was sort of planned at the same time. A lot of people, like, I, I spent four months sort of trying to, you know, study it. You know, yeah. that sort of way. I'm weird that way. You know, no, I, no, I no, don't no, know no, like, no, what I'm going into. Yeah. Um. So I did. I, I just read a pile of, you know, audio, or listened to a pile of audio books and things like that there and watched a couple of videos. And, you know, what? obviously watched a pile of stand-up. Yeah. But um, it was, it was weird, like, because it doesn't feel the same way you think it's going to feel when you're practicing your head or, yeah. you know, you're practicing it out loud. Um, and once you kind of get that first laugh or that first, you know, throw about, it becomes so much easier. Uh, it's so much easier. Yeah. You kind of know you've got 100%. something. So yeah, yeah. I got there and it was only, fuck it, I've only done the one. It's been like five minutes, but yeah. I've got a few more planned out for the next yeah, few minutes. Yeah. So. Cause uh, like I, I've, I'm, I, I was trying to get, well, I, I messaged about doing the path, you know, uh, at, the end, at the end of uh, December there, but never got, never got round to it. And uh-huh. I, you know, I have like five minutes. But it's even one of those ones you, you know, you're you're saying it out loud, or you're saying it in your head, and you're going like, e- even like, you, do you like give it full throttle? I have a good story for you uh-huh. after this. You think you probably new comedy awards? Um, <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna uh, tell it on the podcast? Yeah, I'll tell it okay. on. Um, <laughs> Where like you you know you're saying pre- it loud, you practice off your head. You're going, but you know you five minutes, or whatever. You know, is this too fast, too slow? Yeah. How's it going to be when you get up there? And I think part of it is as soon as you get up there and you, you, know, you say the first line and you get mm-hmm. you, as you say you get that first laugh. Yeah, you probably you probably just sort of sink right into it. And you're Aye. sort of like, oh um, good. Like. Aye, it's it's weird, man. It's like uh, it goes quicker than you ever think it's going to go, even if you plan to go yeah. slow. Do you know that sort of way? Yeah, I yeah. like awkward humor, I like dead pan kind of humor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so ev- that has to be slow. But even I myself. Who had timed it for five minutes? Yeah, ended up doing like three and a half. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, so like yeah. It's weird that way. Like you don't really know what way it's uh, what way it's going to sort of take its turn. No. But um, no, it was good crowd interaction. Yeah, things they got there. It's a really good spot. Man's is a really. Uh, good it spot. was it Army Comedy there. Club, wasn't uh, it? Yeah, and they're that, unbelievable. That's just you just Sean's turn up on the night, don't you? Aye, uh, uh, you just yeah. show up on the night and kind of go on it. Um, but I'd sort of I planned to do it f- I planned like yourself. I planned to do it prior, mm-hmm. and then obviously they just fell through or whatever. Other yeah. things, other things that I had to get on with, but yeah. um. No, I got the first one done now, and uh, I sort of caught a bug for it, so I'm yeah, ready to go uh, to the next that's one. it. Like it's one of those ones as well. Like that's why I have, you know, I have, a, I have a, I haven't not done one yet, but I've, a, I do have a, like I've talked about it for years, and like mm-hmm. I have a, that's why I have like different comedians and stuff on the podcast, Aye. try and like build that rapport, and like at the end of the day, sort of like just look inside of their minds Aye. and be like, wait, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, but in terms of podcasting, like it's a 
pain in the hole. Like it really is. Like it's, you know what I mean? It is. I'm trying. Yeah. To, I try to think of some of the blinders we've had. But there's there, there's several unreleased podcasts we've that had I, probably I pl- double digits podcasts don't release. Really? Yeah. yeah. There was one back to lockdown as there well. There was one before. during uh, lockdown that you were like, you finished it and just went. Because uh, it was mainly, I don't know if you'd find this with content during lockdown, it was mainly, oh, what happened this week? We're all inside. Uh, we went for one walk. <laughs> and it was like, the walk was six uh, hours and, you know, we didn't, whatever. Did any of you think during COVID that that was it? Like, I, there was a really? week, no, for real, there was a week. I genuinely, I remember going, I, you, you know when you weren't allowed to go outside, like yeah. proper weren't allowed to go outside. Yeah. I remember going up town one time, just breaking the rules, you know what I mean? I yeah, went yeah. out during the curfew or whatever. And I went up and I swear, oh, there was nobody about. And I genuinely in my head thought like, this, this is it for the world. Like, we're done. You know what I mean? And I'm in Mark Felt, which has f*** all people in it. I was going to say, that must be, a <laughs> harrowing, must be a harrowing thought. <laughs> like uh, days, we that are, was when I re- that was, We are done. I, that like was like actually it. the snap point for making content. I was literally just like, if, if this is it, like, I've got to throw yeah. it my life at something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or else, because you do, you fucking, man, you end up like, uh, what age you now? If you don't mind me asking. I'm 19, I think. 19. 20. I'm 29. So, like, you get to the point, like, you will later on, you just probably figured it out now, but you get to that point later on where you realize every it's just the same. Yeah. It's just there's five different archetypes yeah. in the world and everybody kind of falls into one. And the only real way to kind of do anything with life is to break the break the mold and go totally. out into something, you know? Yeah, like I remember, because we were doing, we did our fair share podcast and stuff during lockdown and then mm-hmm. like, there there was a, like there was like a month period where like, I don't know what was in the water I was drinking, but just <laughs> it just turned around to like, Everything went in our favor for probably like a oh, month. Oh, are we talking about the Wonder Week? There was <laughs> genuinely a Wonder Week. So yeah. like, and we hold. By the way, we hold on to this. Like uh, that we. Yeah, this people was five years ago now in June. Um, yeah. like, uh, I we were. I can't remember. We had we had a Minecraft realm during lockdown. It Love was that. There it is. Like serious, serious lore. Like mm-hmm. you can oh, write, write that <laughs> factions, <laughs> <trilogy>. wars, <laughs> treaties, <laughs> peace treaties broken. Also, uh-huh. just this totally, totally off topic. You seem like the type of guy that enjoys a good movie. I do, obviously. You seen June two yet? No, oh, no, absolutely. Is it good. It's I'm going to see it later on the day. Oh, really? Oh, really? Mm-hmm. It's uh, yeah, well, no spoilers. Up it's uh, thank you, thank you. Proper, proper good. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. This guy snuck it into his top four on Letterbox. Really? He yeah. It. What the right? What the fuck is Letterbox? Do you have Letterbox? Okay. No, of course so it's Letterbox. Twenty nine. Le- you know letterbox I mean? is Letterbox, but like, uh, uh, there's loads of comedians on it as well. Really? Because because uh, one day I looked, just joined it. Yeah. Ah, okay, I looked okay. And Kieran Franco had followed me on ah, it, yeah, and yeah. Alan Irwin had followed me on it, uh-huh. and then I was like, oh, there's Kieran and McCann and stuff, or Kieran Bartlett and ah, um, yeah. McCann and stuff. So it's pretty much you choose your. I mean, you don't have to, but you choose your four favorite films. Right. Which. I don't know what yours would be. You'd have to think. Aye. And then pretty much every time you watch a film, well, you can do it either films you see for the first time or just rewatches or whatever. Yeah. You you log it pretty much. Okay. It's pretty much like a social media. So let's say you posted, you know, one, you give it like three and a half stars or something. Aye. Five star rank, uh, ranking system, uh, a rating system. And uh, you could put a wee comment or like a review. And then I can either comment or like your <laughs> review. Right. It's basically more streamlined and easier to use uh, interface. Uh, IMDb. It's ah, basically just yeah, yeah. Okay. So social it's media for I films. Okay, I'll do that. Do you want to do that letterbox top? What's your f- uh, favorite four? Yeah, 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 we'll do that. Yeah, so okay. I'll, I'll give you my top four. Yeah, so yeah, currently, yeah. now for a while it was prisoners. Have you seen prisoners? Prisoners for class. Oh, love that film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can talk about. I could do a full episode. Wrong film talk now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, this is we're usually we're trying to keep film talk quite quite tight. I get, I get normally yeah. slated for film. <laughs> there, was, there was complaints at one stage, uh-huh. so we're trying to keep it quite. But I mean, it's one of those ones. Someone brings up prisoners. I'm home with yeah. like So I honestly I could do like a six part series on how, how much I love that film. Yeah. Um. So it was prisoners, the Batman. Like the ah, Batman, okay, okay. Empire Strikes Back, oh, obviously, and Raiders of the Lost Ark. Fair. Like shit. basic enough, uh-huh. but like there's a reason they're highly regarded. They're brilliant films. Aye. Reason. Just last week, June two replaced prisoners for Ooh. me, oh. which is bi- which is huge, which yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. huge. Because I looked at it and went, they're both by Dan- Denis, and I was you like, know. I do, we're good mates. He's coming. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> and uh, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, both, yeah, both him and I went. What one of these currently do I like more? Uh-huh. Recently passed, but it's, it's June, like yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, it it snuck in. I work in a cinema. Ah, it's like okay. So. I have been sneaking in and watching the <laughs> last the last twenty Flowered. minutes. I uh, must have seen a dozen times. Unbelievable. Now. Um, 
absolutely amazing. I'll, 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 I'll text you after what I thought. Of yeah, it. You know, I'll put it on the letter, like my gotta, fresh new letterbox. You gotta, you stay on the letterbox. Yeah, you gotta make. Have you got on the letterbox account yet? No, no, Jesus, you gotta, no. You gotta download the app. You gotta make a letterbox account. You uh-huh. gotta put your four favorite. Have you got four favorite films? I I, would, I don't know if I could pick four. Four is a weird number. Okay, uh, I could definitely say Lord of the Rings: Return of the King yeah, exactly. would be number one. Like okay. you didn't go see it um, recently, did you? No, no, but it was it was intended to. Yeah. Um, one that's highly controversial, right? But everybody talks about the originals uh, in Star Wars. But my favorite is always will be uh, Revenge of the Sith. Okay, you know what I mean? Because I, I, well, not I don't mind that. Huh? That's, that's good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind um, that. yeah. Every every fuck, like I I went to do like I'm assuming it's I went to do film in uni. Yeah. Every f- turns around and goes like, oh no, no the next one's. F- um, La Ham, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean, or something like that. There, like I'm a basic bitch when it comes to yeah. films. You know what I mean. I love, yeah, yeah. I love. Um, I don't even know if I would have like a special one. Um, because it's me in the spot. Like, no, it not worry. Um, I watch just... Space Man recently. Seen Space Man? Yes, I. You uh, said that in the live. Uh, though, right? It's not. It's not my favorite, but it's a good f-ing film. I I have a big fear of spiders, so I couldn't. It's it's personally. a friendly spider. It's, though. Yeah, because I skimmed ah, through it. Ah, I yeah. was like, although it depends though, because I don't like. It's asking me how I feel. Do you okay, know what I mean? Yeah. And that's all the spider does yeah. the whole yeah. fucking film. Yeah. So, like, if you also have a fear of that, it's going to be your worst nightmare. Yeah. Uh, like, you know? uh, Harry Potter 2. Harry Potter 2 is good. spider in that. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I genuinely, or, I watched or that film. Or Love in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I, 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 yeah. I'm watching classic. it through, like... You know, uh, I, I've seen Return of the King once when I was mm-hmm. younger, and genuinely, it's, I wouldn't go back to it. Desolation of Smog has a load of uh, Oh, I has a whole spider it. scene now. So, like, and I just... There was one night it was on, I just... BBC or Channel 4 or something and I flicked it on and it was right at the spider scene I, dro- I think I dropped my phone in my drink when it came <laughs> Aye, on fair, 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 fair I, I felt your knees I, I, I was crying <laughs> I, uh, I dropped my knees in the living room and the spider came on and uh-huh. I just couldn't I just couldn't I just can't do them um, but uh, yeah you got to make a letter box I will, I will, uh, I will uh, you can hold me to it I will um I found like have you ever done Comic Con or anything like that? There, you've ever been. Oh. I did. So, oh, flip! I, I have a good video. I have a, g- a good story. So, uh-huh. I did a video at Comic Con. Right. Called the Cultures of Comic Con. Uh huh. Did one before in Belfast because the Cultures of Belfast did yeah. pretty well. So, like, I'll do one at Comic Con. And a lot of it was like a bit of a bit of like ripping the backs out of people. You ever get people that like you know? I think sometimes you go to Comic Cons, do you? Fair play, people love and enjoy what they're doing. Aye. And if they've got a mask on, I'll maybe rip the backside of them because it's like I can't see who you are. No, no one knows who you are. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of fair game. Uh, there, there are some people though, and we were in Disneyland once. My dad said this to me. You know, people are walking about and they're wearing something ludicrous in Disneyland. My dad went, he's probably like a lawyer or something. Aye, you know, he probably has a day mm. job that's like fairly professional. Yeah. You know, my dad's my dad's phrase is, you've lost the run of yourself. Aye. right? And there's a few people at Comic Con I looked at and I went, you've absolutely lost the run of yourself on this Sunday afternoon. So, made this video at Comic Con, sort of just going about the different stuff there and, and you know, like doing like social commentaries, going up to, uh, have you watched Gotham at all? Mm-hmm. So... David, I've forgotten his last name, so. who plays Bruce Wayne. Yeah. I walked up to him, and you're not supposed to film, like, because, you know, or they'll take a mortgage. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I walked up to him. My mate was ages away, and I had, like, a wee, like, Bluetooth mic on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I asked him, you know, oh, are you enjoying Belfast? And he said, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, talking away to me. Uh-huh. And I said, oh, like, have you heard of the phrase dole? He says, no, no, like, what does it mean? I said, okay, okay, I'd say you're pretty dull. Like, and he's like, oh, really? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, and he was chatting away. To th- you know, he's, he was like, is it a good thing or a bad thing to be dull? I was uh, like, no, it's a great thing. Like, you know, I was like, you know, next time you see someone, you know, <laughs> tell them they're looking dull and all this stuff. <laughs> and had a good chat. And, like, did that a couple of times. Uh, um, right. Spoke to Cameron Monaghan from, uh, who plays Cal Kestis. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, Paul. He, he, had a, he had a big... I've seen him at Star Wars Celebration. Yeah. Oh, were you at Celebration? Mm-hmm. That's ah, class. Was um, London? Gone. Huh? It was London. Aye, London, oh, the, the yeah. most recent one there, yeah, yeah. We've gone full nerd talk. Like I, I, I know, I know. Um, but what do you talk about normally? Like, cause well, like, it, de- well, it depends. Women or something? Well, yeah. No. <laughs> Certainly not. It's uh, <laughs> uh, not fine. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, the, yeah, I we went. To, I was chatting away and, like, basically just, just having a, a mug off. And there was one, uh-huh. there was one part in the video where... Um, these two Mandalorians walk past me, right? Mm-hmm. In fl- don't get me wrong. You didn't say. I yeah, you were in a, you were I in was I was cosplaying as a Mandalorian. Ah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So okay. Aaron was there and he walked past and there was these other two Mandalorians who we had seen actually get getting suited up. Yeah. <laughs> Which by <laughs> the way, there's nothing more embarrassing when you're in the back of the car. Like it's my cape on, your like, uh, yeah, your gen, you my bit jet pack, and you see a married couple also doing the same uh, thing. Yeah. Hang on, yeah. before we continue, what what kind of Mandalorian? 
Uh, well, I have a I have a red Mando tattoo. Ah, it's kind of like a so dark I kind of went sort for of like red Death Watch. Yeah, Death Watch. Like, yeah. Yeah. I've done that as well. They love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I I was going off, I was going off the one that Kenobi wears in in Clone Wars. Uh, yeah, but yeah. I didn't want to fully go for that. I was mine's was uh, like this is fucking ages ago now, but mine's just like a Death Commando. Oh, you nice. know what I mean? Unbelievable. Love style. it. Love <laughs> it. Yeah. Is it Virgin talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. None of us have ever felt the warmth of a woman like. It's it's there's nothing that's bonding. <laughs> the uh, oh, so yeah. like and that's what I, mean, I I don't get me wrong I love Star Wars more I'm a uh, huge nerd I'm a big Lego guy yeah 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 huge Lego guy yeah. to, to be honest it's maybe, scary maybe like uh, there's I like he couldn't bring a woman to his room he, well oh. I I have the last time I brought a woman to my bedroom uh-huh. I moved some next door to be like let's get some of this out of here because uh, this is a bit nuts uh, I also sent her photos of it ahead of time to be like listen <laughs> this is this is just what you're dealing with you walk uh, in here and I walked she walked in like. I said, well, how do you feel? And she said, listen, I'm glad you sent me some photos ahead of time so I could like, sort of adapt to this. Ah, uh, fair. But, so that, that's my preface. Is saying. I, like, okay. I love all that you've stuff. You've actually, you've came out of the closet with your Lego addiction recently. 100%. But sort of I don't care. You know, I, that's I the way you got to love life, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way you got to love life. For a while, yeah, yeah. Just what are you, like, so I, I've been in a relationship now for, since you were literally nine. I've been in a nine-year relationship now, right? Ah, right. uh, mental, right? Okay. Uh, what's it like, like, you know, when you're going to try and, like, chat up a woman or something like that there? Or a man, like, I don't know what, you know, whatever. But um, if you're going to, to find a partner, yeah, right? Like, how do you turn around and go, like, no, I just, um, podcast, like? Yeah, well, <laughs> thankfully, yeah. So, like, I, I just, this is kind of mad, I just started going out with a girl on Wednesday there. Unbelievable. Like, just shout her out. What's her name? Aaron. Aaron, let's shout go. Look. Aaron. You know what I mean? Uh, um, I've done maybe one too many shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably see in about a five year time in this podcast, there's been a few like, oh, shout out to uh, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And then we may have to they go back and edit a few of those. There's been a few code names used over the years. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> but on episode, inf- infamously, in episode 100, Dan is going to tell a story. This love, love it. Love I'll it. Tell you after. It's okay, not okay. <laughs> um, I promise you it's not. Seven um, episodes away. And. Uh, I but before that, you know, like I, when I was introduced to her, I was sort of introduced as like, oh, this is Daniel. He has a podcast, and I also think you, the older you get with it, it's less. Like I got some stick in school, like, but like uh, out of school, and the older you get, like I, people really don't care. Yeah. Um. And I think what I, what I like to do, um, and he won't be watching, but Shane, if you are, I like to say, oh, I have a podcast. And they'll say, oh, who's been on it? And I like to say stuff like, oh, you know, like Shane Todd yeah. and stuff. As if Easy. it was like two weeks ago, <laughs> yeah, five yeah, years, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. half a decade. But um, yeah, like I think they're pretty exceptional. But Good. Especially when like, w- if you have like a bit of like a, you know, if you have that rapport with like a few people uh, that are like well known, they're like, oh, he's not just like mucking about, you know. Uh, yeah. Even the thing for me though, right, is that like, you would have to like, they, they're going to go like, they're going to go depending on the woman or whatever. Um, is gonna go and just watch all of it. Oh. They're gonna know every f-ing thing yeah. about you. You know what I mean? Oh. Like, of which, <laughs> his dad yesterday <laughs> sent a video to him at like <laughs> half eleven. Do you want me to play it? In the, in the in the home studio that I have in my house in my uh-huh. bedroom. Uh, it's like in the corner. It's like there's uh, like half of my bedroom and then half of it is like a which which I don't think hopefully you would know if you watched the podcast, but it's yeah. like tucked in. Which is why like for like guests coming from like far away, I'm like. Probably don't want to come to my bedroom, so that's you know, be weird about. Um, so that's why we book in here and stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, like, uh, there's there's a doll sticker on the wall. Ah, I've seen like it. Individual, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. and the, one of them has the, uh, an L that's just slightly crooked, right? Uh-huh. Not you know, yeah, it's bad, but not you know, to the naked eye, it's not awful. Yeah. Yesterday, his dad sent him this video. Okay, I've got two things to show you. Uh, I'll show this video first. Mm-hmm. Um, it is made an R, so, but, here, this has um, an Academy Award Not one. L and Dole, it was it. definitely one. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, I, I woke so up, drunk. I, so I, I, woke up drunk. I woke up to that yesterday, and it was the first thing I saw on my phone, mm-hmm. and I was like, because that's it, that's like that's like the wall has a lot of photos and everything. Yeah, on yeah, like yeah. That's an old one. That's about a year ago. And I was Aye. like, what the heck? And I was like, fair play. And he, but he, what he says in the video, he's like, uh, I'm, I'm sitting with Roger here. Who Roger is? We don't, we don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even really we, know who Roger is. We don't know. But yeah. he's sitting with Roger, and the L slightly crooked. And it was just like, oh. I also much. quickly show this is Daniel with the king's envelope. Pizza. Oh yeah, that's ah, nice, nice, so nice, nice. Loving it on screen. Loving it. Yeah, loving it. I probably. Um, I, I, um, 
like I said, I've been with my girlfriend now for nine years, right? Yeah. And she's ever since that I'm not. But right. in all but in all the bad ways, you know what I right. mean? Or the good ways, technically, how you look at it. Like I'm completely irresponsible, like I'm trying to be a comedian, you yeah. know. She's a chartered accountant, you know, yeah. freaking the sheets like <laughs> spreadsheets mainly. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you know, yeah. like um, she's um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she's uh she has her entire life completely planned out. You know what I mean? I got like I tell you it's an example, right? You know the way um, I'm a major you do you ever have like a like Christmas time you're with you know you're planning trying to plan what you're going to get for each other and all she legitimately sends me a Christmas spreadsheet of just like everything it's it's, it's a godsend mind yeah, but yeah. like it's literally like you know discounts and where to buy it blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, it's yeah. the greatest thing since sliced bread but, but yeah. um, it also means that she's uh, you know a lot of the personality of our relationship well it has to come from me you know because <laughs> sure, like, like every day every day you know when I when I when I call her um, she sounds like she wants to be uh, dead right. you know um, <laughs> because it is the most dry job i've yeah, ever heard yeah, in my yeah, life like imagine. imagine just sitting and talking to people about numbers all day yeah. i would i would i would i would be dead i couldn't do it my you know uh, I mean? speaking of lego actually i just remembered something <laughs> when you were saying that when did we speak about lego you, no you were saying uh, no about you said <laughs> something about that, right? just throwing it in there you said about discounts and like uh, uh you know my dad uh-huh. is a fiend for lego is right ah, fair. still like even yesterday we were out and he sent mm-hmm. me this link to this shop and I was like, oh, give me five minutes. Uh, <laughs> um, every year for Christmas he sets up this massive, like in our front room, this massive big Lego winter village. Class. That's his mind. Like, it's know. about three tables long. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The moving tree and everything. Uh, cool. Unbelievable. So and uh, he, he, throughout the year, he will find different discounts and stuff on eBay and stuff and like it's absolutely mental and like yeah. there's a full moving tree and it's a bit much. Um, and like, uh, he, but he doesn't show it to anybody. But yeah. he is, he is. I only found this out recently. He is in a Facebook forum oh. for like A falls in, Le- in Northern uh, Ireland. That'd be a great front for like a paramilitary. You yeah. know, just oh guys, come on, join the Lego. Group. Come on, get, come <laughs> on guys, we're building the Europe for today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, floor floor thirteen still under construction. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, we're taking some, Lego uh, Margaret Thatcher's in yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> we're rebuilding the Europa. Aye. Yeah, um, no Lego milk. Aye. Aye. <laughs> um, but yeah, Lego's good crack. I don't even know. Oh yes, that co- culture's a comic con. That's, ah, that's yeah. how we got on. Sorry, this sorry, I, 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 do, I do devoid quite a lot. Um, <laughs> and I, th- I honestly think you were. Sorry, to interrupt, I honestly think you were playing more of a character in that comic con. Yeah, yeah. Because well, uh, as you'll be able to tell, we are nerds. Nah, we obviously, hundred percent. Uh, yeah. I think there's. Yeah. I think there's a healthy balance, and I think what I was doing in, in the video was like, I'm, <laughs> I'm obviously there, but like you know, not everything there is for me as well. It's also ludicrous prices and everything. Oh, and uh but i i was sort of ripping the backside of a couple of people and these two mandalorians this this is the ironic part of the whole thing mm-hmm. these two mandalorians in absolutely excellent cost cost yeah, play, yeah. like really really top of the line stuff walk past the camera literally walk past the frame <laughs> and the comment i make is something like oh there's like oh there's another two no, no what happened was they walked past and we fist bumped each other because uh, i'm also a mandalorian uh, yeah, yeah. i'm like it's part of the creed this is the way Obviously and you know <laughs> <Yeah>. and uh, <laughs> and then That's what it was. I literally and Daniel goes, oh, look what's happening here. It's the only positive part of the video. <laughs> right? literally just, oh, Daniel's, Daniel's just went like, oh, look at that. Guy looks like a twat or whatever. The next part is like, oh, this is great. And then. Yeah. yeah. I And then I think nothing of it. It's literally a like, five second clip in the video. A yeah. uh, video gets posted and there's a lot of, I'll say this, a lot of social media backlash. Oh, I love it. And next thing you know, like this guy comments. No, I didn't realize how seriously this guy takes his, his Mandalorian stuff because yeah. he has his, his full account that's all Mandalorian themed and he's in the profile picture, but mask on, you know, oh, guns up. Yeah. And uh, he says, not only have you captured me without my consent in this video, <laughs> you've made a jibe at me. <laughs> First time I've heard the word jibe yeah, be used yeah. in that context. Like, oh, you've made a jibe at me. Um, you've twenty. It was, and then he just threatened me. Like, you've <laughs> you've twenty four hours <laughs> to delete this, or I will be contacting my yeah, solicitor. Yeah. And like it was. Two years ago, I was like seventeen or whatever, uh, and I was just like, "What the heck?" Uh, like, I, so I, I replied, and I was like, "Cancel your face!" Like, you know, yes, it is him, but like, you know, who who can tell? It's you, uh, even. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, I then I don't think I did anything. I think I I think I maybe blurred it for like a period of time, then took the blur mm. away because I was like ridiculous. Um, <laughs> And then it kind of blew, it kind of like half blew up on TikTok, yeah, yeah, like yeah. You know, 30,000 views or something, uh-huh. you know, not major, but like, ah, yeah, still good. and uh, people, some people got it and were like, ha, 
and you know we're fine parts were funny and then there were some people who were not uh, happy whatsoever I, can I also say I was working on a <coughs> I was working on a western film about a mm-hmm. year after Aye. which by the way a western film shot in Northern Ireland is ridiculous Aye. it's like hey good Aye. luck yeah. not, not a grain of sand about you know, uh-huh. but it was like you know gospel uh, we were down uh, I can't remember it was close it was like south Belfast we were down there and I was talking to a guy like blah blah blah, blah and I showed him the Mandalorian Aye. I had just out of because it was like I think I stretched and a wee bit came up. Yeah, and he yeah. Went, and he also <laughs> had one. So well, there's a picture of us both like this. Uh-huh. And I was like blah 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 blah, and he's like, "Where do you see this?" And I instantly knew what happened. And it was a guy that was mates with a guy that <laughs> had blocked Daniel. Uh-huh. And it was like, "Oh, were you?" At and I was like, "You're not gonna believe that. That's me in the photo with you." <laughs> and he's like, "What?" Class. So I'm standing beside this guy, and then part of me goes, "Oh." Do you know who Daniel is? Like, yeah, do you uh, know about this? And then I kind of just went, I'm going to get that back. Uh, he, you're fully, like, you're full your, blown, yeah, most like, wanted yeah. going in the fucking to, cryo chamber. I didn't want like an Alec Baldwin on Russ situation uh, where uh, I get uh, shot. There was part, there was a bit of like debate of like, if I went back the next year, mm-hmm. would would I be halt? Because I went, I did a video in Cineworld, just like a wee quick thing where it was like, do you forget those like influencer, like the, the best thing uh, there too, and I think he, he'd have a laugh at this himself, was GD, like that sort of like, uh, influencer sort of like, you know, I've been paid to come down uh, here, blah, yeah, blah, blah, yeah. blah. And I did one in Cineworld, but I, every different, every time I mentioned the cinema, I used a different chain, so I was like, <laughs> thanks to Movie House, thanks to <laughs> Complex, <laughs> Orion, um, and uh, we were going to see Nope, but instead of, uh, what did I call him? Jonathan Peel or something? So, yeah, something, something. That, that was Instead of Jordan Peel. Ah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I said, you know, just the, but had all the, like, happy music and stuff, and then just at the end, I said something like, and thanks to the staff who were, like, abysmal, and then <laughs> the video finished, that a friend of mine's friend uh, works in Cineworld. And everyone they, knows everyone. And they ah, were alerted. We are a small country. They were alerted to the video, and we're like, uh-huh. this boy goes back in here <laughs> with a camera. Uh, let him uh, alert a supervisor and let them know. Um, um, but like the only funny, I, like, I have no hatred towards anybody. Hopefully no. that comes across, except for one group. Except for one specific group of people. And yeah. I, I'm, I'm willing to admit it on the live. Yeah. Uh, furries. <laughs> furries, That's I, valid. I have That's a valid. real problem with. Um, <laughs> and so a, a, a legitimate experience. It's not just it's not just xenophobia, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I remember at one point when I was doing the, the Death Trooper uh, cosplay in, yeah. in oh, uh, Dublin, it was Dublin Comic Con. Oh, okay, There's yeah. a whole room of them. What, what year was this out of curiosity? <sighs> This was before I did it. Wasn't 2017, was it? It might have been. Uh, I was also there. <laughs> I, I, I was red. But there was, a group of, <laughs> oh, there was a group of these, like, uh, furries, you know, that, how would you define it? Swarmed, like, like in, uh, you know, like alien movies, like alien movies, yeah. they were like xenomorphs. Yeah. Like, you could just, you could walk around, and no matter where I went, it's like they were coming from the fucking ceilings yeah. and the, the ventilation shafts and all, <laughs> and they just wouldn't f- off. You know, no matter where you did or what you did, trying to hug me and all. And I don't, I'm not good for personal space. You know what I mean? I don't like that kind of stuff. Since that day, never liked it. Found out there's subsections. Freaks me out even more. Oh a scalies. Oh. You know, a reptilian version of, of furries. Uh, and then there's one for insects that I've forgotten the name of. Are they, sorry, are they wearing like, really like furries? Like, their costumes? Like, Aye. Like no, scalies look. Are they like, you are know. Are scalies getting like actual dead? I had a crocodile. No, uh, I don't know. But that's, I mean. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm careful what I say here, but that is mental. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Let, let's let's just say ah, that yeah. that's crazy. No, you like, can dress like like I said, me and me and Arnie, we dressed up as totally. you know um, totally. things before. There's nothing wrong with that. It's actually nothing wrong with the costume part of it at all. Yeah, it's just the need to be so close to everybody and yeah, be yeah. all you know, let's love and hug and touch and all. Yeah, you know. Yes, yeah, I think it's more the behavior <gasps> is is the issue in there. Um, like I, I, when I was doing Red, Red Hood from Batman, I had a few people come up and crack a few crowbar jokes to make. Red, Red Hood, you know, for anyone listening, yeah, 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 beat yeah. to death by the joke of a crowbar. <coughs> and I was like, oh, it's very good. And then I had, <laughs> uh, there was a Batman Arkham Knight cosplayer there. And he uh, was mental. He, yeah, he, yeah. I don't know if he's all or not. He was crazy. Uh-huh. Um, and he was like, I was like, I got a picture. Yeah, immediately. Puts his ne- arms, or like he was a bit bigger than me, short, but he's like, put his arm, neck around me, and he was like, I'm fucking stop your neck. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we, we got the picture, and I have, I have a mask on, so in the, in the picture, he's like, Jason, uh, and I'm uh, like, Bruce, yeah. whatever. In reality, I'm sitting there going, Is this uh, guy gonna yeah. actually this guy's got a <laughs> black belt jiu jitsu? He's, he's, he's gonna knock me out. <laughs> he's but living you know, the lower look, you know. Con- consent with cosplay is a weird thing. It like, is. It's it a is. Big thing. Uh, yeah, 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 especially yeah. female cosplay. Yeah, there's yeah, no harm. We do, we've all said this. A lot of the guys, you know, great. You know, some of them, it's their first time out of the house in about a year. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, or ever. 
ever. Yeah. <laughs> that was a common this theme in my like Comic Con right? video. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was, yeah, yeah. But no, like it was good crack. We didn't go back the next year. Uh, I'm raging though because the cast of Red Dead Redemption Two were there. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I, I met him in. I met him one. One of the things you know, Arthur Clark? Morgan, I Roger yeah. Clark, oh. I, he's legend of a guy. Yeah. He leads actually really big into Ireland. Yeah, because so, he's uh, his, his family's from here. Like, uh-huh. not to be like, I, I'm, I don't know why I know this, but yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. you know his dad, do you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I went to school. Does his dad know your dad? <laughs> um, but yeah, that that was yeah. I got a little backlash from that video. Uh, and then, yeah, good crack. Yeah. I'd, I'd do it again. Um, <laughs> but the, I just remember the, the, uh-huh. the comedy thing I was going to tell you about. Oh yeah, yeah, comedy awards. Uh, yeah. So oh. this is mental. Uh-huh. Um, so the new comedy awards were they run them every year. Um, and there, you know, you, you compete here. Then if you get through, you go over yeah. to England and stuff. And you you can s- you just su- submit a set, and the, the I, I had, you could do like a sketch or like an actual like actual five minutes ah, stuff. Ah, yeah, yeah. And I remember texting Shane Todd and saying, "Listen, yeah, c- can you enter like both categories or like what's the crack with yeah. this?" And he was one of the judges, and he said, "Listen, I don't really know the full crack with it, but just tear away like." Mm-hmm. So I was, but the way the way it had was worded in the website it was like just record yourself doing your material and yeah. send it off so get the tripod out set it up in my bedroom get the microphone out send it off and obviously like there's no audience in the room of me whatsoever yeah. so like and I, I've still never done it so it, I, I'm just I was just firing jokes out and firing material out but to no one and to thin air <laughs> and was leaving not a huge pause but I'd yeah, finish yeah, a joke yeah. and go <laughs> <laughs> and then and then <laughs> send it off I remember getting in the car with you and going like I'm feeling pretty happy with that because uh, the, the the vibe I thought it was like kind of similar like auditioning for like a uh-huh. film or something yeah, yeah, yeah. self tape like and send it off yeah, yeah. and I was I said to them in the car I was like you know, I'm feeling pretty happy with that you know, if, you know maybe I end up going to England here or something you know if, uh, I, if I get to bring someone across oh how young you are <laughs> and then they they um, I think William Came second, or ah, class, or, or, yeah. or or won it, or something, uh-huh. and I remember going, "Ah, these guys aren't exactly new. This is more like Aye. you've been doing it for a while." Aye, yeah. And I'm going, "Oh, they were just sending in their sets of them in yeah. the island." So I'm going, "I'd love to s- speak to or see the producer <laughs> that is looking through all these self editions." Aye. And then they get to mine, and it's me, and you can like see my bedroom in the background, and I'm like. And you're still going to do five minutes. <laughs> and, I get up and I and I and I just to no one and go. I, uh, the whole time. I, um, so it's just to say, yeah, I never made it to the next stage with that. Fair enough. Um, it could have been this this starting stone. You know what I mean? That's the it. First, the first could've step. Always could have been over uh, in England. Yeah, yeah. You can um, now, like you know, you're going to come back there and compete yeah, again and win or whatever. Like I believe like, in you. Yeah, you know, crack. I, um, that was one of the most scandalous ones. Yeah. Hi. Writing's, I think, a hard part of, of comedy because you don't know where you actually are being funny. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're just writing uh, the biggest pedal. But I have a full, like, I call it, like, the Bible, or the girlfriend calls it the Bible. Yeah. Where it's just, like, a big leather book. With yeah. Old, with a pile of nonsense yeah, that I pick I've, up I've, every day. Yeah, you know, I've, like, I've got, um, like, um, I've got a friend of mine, to be fair, who got me a, like, a nice, like, proper, like, notebook and was like, write all your stuff in that. Yeah. Um, and, like, I, I don't know how you do it, but I was drawing like little mind maps. And stuff. Ah, yeah, I did the same. And yeah, yeah, I have uh, a smaller one and then a bigger one. Yeah, yeah, I've just um. like possible ideas. And there's a few. I, I, I was, I was sitting down one night and I was saying to my dad, like, oh, you know, what do you, what do you think of this? Uh-huh. And um, he, he's a heavy critic. Yeah. And like, he, he not, not, a, he's not being a, a prat. I think it's more just he, he doesn't want it to not go well. Ah. So I got to tell him one, he'll go. Really? Uh, yeah, like, really? Yeah, really? And and I I I said to him, I was like, not being funny. I don't think it's the joke. I think it's more like if Kevin, if you saw Kevin Hart or Kevin Bridges say that on the TV, <laughs> you'd be like, ah, oh, it's that. I don't think uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, I, I, but there's there's definitely ones I fire out too many. He goes, right, okay, and then they'll crack the whole. <laughs> you writing any funny ones? And all this <laughs> guy, oh, <laughs> zinger, you mate. should just uh, as yeah. a dip, never. Too comedy for yeah, your dad. Yeah. <laughs> you know so your like mate, yeah. go and build your Lego village <laughs> next door. Sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, it's good crack. Like, uh, it's, yeah. it's good fun. Uh, um, when do you think of starting yourself? I had, I had messaged uh, Luke McGibbon. A uh, legend, the, by the way, absolute the, legend. The path promoter. Uh-huh. Uh, just last week there again. Um, and I'm waiting for him to get back to me. It uh, might be like a copy and a resend of a message this week. Nah, but, but fair play, fair play. Yeah, and uh, hopefully, I think it's just, I think it's just, I remember speaking to Alan Butler about it, and he was like, it's just like, the, it's the first leap, you know, as soon as you that's take it. that jump, mm-hmm. you know, you're in, like. You and learn to bomb, that's the thing. That's like, learn to get up after a bomb, that's what I keep being told. Yeah. Like, you know, expect that you're going to go in and eventually you're going to do one where people are just not, you're going to stand there in pure 
in silence. Yeah. You know what I, mean? I, I, I even feel that sometimes, you know, as an audience, you know, uh, there was I, like uh, we were Paddy Raff last night, as I said, and mm-hmm. like uh, then we were the, the Mark Liam and uh, even the Pav we went one night. Yeah, and. I remember thinking, like, it's part of it, the audience, you know, it's part of, you know, are yeah, we just not yeah, really up like, for it tonight or else? Uh, back, his Cat Williams said it was a great thing. He's like, you can be a great, com- you can be a great comedian in like a year. You know what I mean? Like, you could write, you could be the best comedian, uh, or you could you could write like the best jokes. Yeah. But uh, like a real legend of the business is somebody who knows, like, how to say the same joke to 10 different audiences yeah. and make every one of them laugh. You know, like, to just alter it slightly and yeah, change it so you can get and get it. Um, but, um, so, like, yeah, it's, it's one of those ones, but. Dude, we'll see stop it. thinking about it. That's my advice. Yeah, that's you it. Know what I mean? You know, I, that's it. I'm sort of like, I'm sort of like, I'm, I'm, I'm happy enough now where I'm just like, just put me, like, just let me do it. Ah, you know, ah yeah, yeah. Um, because it's been one of, the, it's one of those ones. I was like, as soon as I turn into a thing, like, I'm straight into it. Ah, and then I just didn't do it. And then, uh, but hopefully now, you know. What What are you losing if you do? You know, sort of way. Literally yeah. nothing. I feel yeah. like I am your dad right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Tell you a few jokes. You're like, dad? really? Ah, what do we do? Go on, see if like I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't come back home. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, it's uh, it's fun, man. I would definitely, I definitely recommend it. Um, just because nobody else is doing it, that's, yeah, that's yeah. the best piece of advice I can give anybody. Do the things that nobody else is doing. That's it. You know, you know, even with the podcast, I, I said that before. Like, uh, I started this when I was fifteen, fourteen. Maybe? Right. Would you mean content creation in general, or uh, this specific podcast? Oh, mm-hmm. this specific one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which is, and you know. Certainly at that time, there was no one uh, our age doing anything like yeah, that, really. Yeah, big time. Um, in terms of like, yeah, obviously it's people making content and stuff, but not not like a podcast in, in Belfast, really. Yeah. Um, and like even, even I think that's, a, you know, the first episode of this sounded like a cat being strangled <laughs> underwater. <laughs> I've been there. Awful. Uh, and I think, you know, people talk, people have asked in lives and stuff, you know, uh, I don't know how serious they are, but like, oh, any advice for like starting a podcast? And you're uh-huh. like, I think you kind of need to just, in terms of equipment, Aye. You kind of just need to make like you need to be it. you need to be the fool before you're the king. I yeah. guess that's the only way. It yeah, works. That's, that's a great you know what one, I mean? Yeah. Like you can't you can't start off as a as the master of your craft. You have yeah. to start off being sh- totally. Out, you know. Um, in terms of your own podcast, do you think any guests you line up yourselves? Or you Aye, we got man, we, the problem with the problem is with starting something and like like it was lockdown videos. You know what I mean? So like you never expect them to go anywhere and you didn't really care, and then they did go somewhere. Yeah. Um, is that you end up getting in the eyes of people that you don't ever think you're going to get in the eyes of. Yeah. So, like, we done four guests there. The first one, um, first one's one of my really good mates, uh, but he's also a content creator, Captain Barmy. Uh, he's, like, a streamer or whatever. Okay. Second one was the rest, uh, wrestler, like a professional yeah. wrestler, which is really fun. Uh, third one was, uh, do you know Sean McConville? Uh, Sean McConville did the yeah, Pastor probably, Ed yeah, stuff. Yeah. Um, and uh, the fourth one was Janet Devlin, who's, like, a big... Um, Singer songwriter, you know, over nice. in uh, she's over in England, America, and all now, but she's from here. Nice. And I started that with making a joke that we were cousins. We're not. I was gonna say when but, you first um, had the last, like, uh, like yeah. no, 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 yeah. not even related remotely. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I did start off a rumor that we were, and then she somehow picked up on it, and then followed through. <laughs> 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 so, now, so now, for everybody officially, we are cousins. Nice. Theater. Um, but. Uh, no, it's fun. Like uh, I took a wee break from it there now, just to get this stand up off the grid. Like, but yeah. it's coming, all coming. I want. I don't want to post it until I know I can do it consistently. So yeah, uh, that's, I, that's I think it's look. a healthy, healthy balance. Uh, you know, yeah. of like, because I think that's something someone said to me once. You know, it's consistency's key with it. You know, like definitely there's weeks I miss a podcast and stuff. Uh, and like, but you know, in terms of finding an audience, mm-hmm. they're gonna keep coming back. They're gonna keep coming back because they know it's on every Wednesday or whatever yeah. it is. You know, it's gonna be out every Wednesday. You know, if they don't know when it's happening, mm-hmm. you know, they're not gonna be waiting for it or looking for it. You know, if it hasn't yeah. been happening. I think that's part of the consistency with it. But uh, um, um, I, I, it's it's a weird thing. The whole thing's weird. Getting recognised is the weirdest thing I'll ever experience in my whole life. Mm-hmm. It doesn't happen often, but it, you know, when it does happen, it's the weirdest thing. Yeah. You know, um, it does for me though. Is I have like a weird Clark Kent effect <laughs> where people don't realize who I am because my chin is always fucking yeah. Yeah, yeah, chin yeah, first yeah. and everything like. But, uh, and so what I get more than not is just that early people going up and going. And then, like, walking, you know, like, walking <laughs> yeah, yeah, past. Yeah. By that point, I'm, like, 20 seconds ahead, so yeah. they're not coming back. Like, you know? yeah, And it's always, I leave a lot of what-ifs. Yeah. Like, what if that's him? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, more than it does. Uh, but, uh, uh, it's happened a few times where, like, people don't know my name. Aye. But aye, that had me for the, I was the longest time I was the guy on TikTok. Yeah, not they'll, they'll do the podcast. So, like, they'll, we were in a club one night, and someone just shouts, Dogcast! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know the first time I ever heard of the Dolecast was uh, on 
je- like Jed's live or whatever, oh, or whatever yeah. he's asking him to go on to it. Was it you, Stop? Uh, I definitely <laughs> asked him on a live before, 100%. Um, and I think she and Morgan, Jed's friend, uh, we were on a live, and then my new girlfriend texted me and was like, Jed was talking about you and his live there. Oh, there we go. Like, do uh, yeah, yeah. Um, me, and, me and Jed have met. Twice, uh-huh. I don't know if he remembers. Uh-huh. We were in Ollie's on Halloween night, uh-huh. and um, the music was blaring. And I saw him and like, well, each other, and like, uh, we get on. But I was like, uh, I didn't know if he fully knew who I was, yeah. So I kind of walked over to him and went, Oh, Jed, hi. And he was like, uh, and, and, he <laughs> was like yeah. and he was like, Who are you? And I was like, uh, uh, And then I was like, Dolcast, and uh-huh. I was like, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And I was like, Oh, great. Cast. And then um, I was like, yeah, do you fancy coming on? And he's like, yeah. And you, <laughs> he's like, let's sort something out. Now, uh, music blaring, we can barely hear yeah, each other. I was like, yeah, 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 we'll get it sorted. And I had just recorded a video in here uh-huh. on this white background. New thing I was doing at the old time called Food Fight, which is like USA food versus... Like oh, yeah, food, yeah. Like uh-huh. Lab Bible sort of stuff. Yeah, 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 And I had said to him, like, shouting and screaming over the music, I was like, oh, like... I just did a thing today where we like put food against each other. <laughs> if you wanted to like, come on that or something, maybe. and he was clearly he was just like this guy's insane. He was like, oh, just goes, yeah, 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 it's great, man, whatever. Uh-huh. Uh, and then I was dressed as uh, have you ever seen, seen the office? Yeah, US. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know when Jim does Facebook as his costume? Oh, yeah. So I had book written across <laughs> my face. Uh-huh. And no one was getting people. J- people kept coming up to me and going book face, and I was like, yeah, that's it, great. Uh, I'm yeah, walking yeah. home, and uh, Jeb was standing beside this other girl. And I said, he turned to her and was like, uh, you know, what do you think he is? And she just stared at me like this. And, uh, and eventually I was just like, I'm, I'm Facebook. And apart from, and then I'll tell you about something else that happened uh-huh. outside of the podcast. Yeah, but, okay. um, yeah, I, there was one thing happened and he was like, we'll talk about that in the podcast. I was like, we certainly will not be talking about it. <laughs> yeah. uh, and that was the only, but uh, I, I'd love to speak to uh, you. No, Jed's a solid. Jed's a solid. I've met him like I've met him a few times now. He's yeah. a solid. I have no nice problem guy. whatsoever. Um, the only thing, like, I, so, like, it's weird, so, like, when you do stuff on, on TikTok, people just immediately start to associate you as an influencer, even though I've only ever done, like, one brand deal in my life, um, and it was with three mobile, like, that was it, you know what I mean? Oh, nice. No, it was grand, but it was weird, you know what I mean? Like, it was never, like, how the f*** are you going to make content out of, uh, like, how am I going to, like, you know, try and promote something like content, like, it's impossible. Yeah. But, um, I, randomly, what happens is, like, you get pulled into like you know like like influencers who follow you and think you're funny or whatever you know that sort of stuff um so i randomly got invited to like events which i never turned up to except for one except for one the guy pilot i james lovely fella yeah. he was going he said well we go i was like i why not you know what i mean i went there and in like five minutes i realized they hated it because everybody was just talking about like I, people you know, people say things like oh you got this amount of fun i don't give a, like, you know it's yeah. not it's not. It doesn't affect yeah. me. But these ones, literally, like you know, the, every, every two seconds, just talking about like what content they make and like, oh my god, I just do like you know, we get like good mornings with me or get ready with me or whatever and all. And I'm like, ah, right, cool man, no problem. Yeah. So I switched. <laughs> so I switched character halfway through to and eventually five minutes into, I was like, oh yeah, I got this many blah blah blah, and I got really bored of that really quickly. So I started to just play this role of 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 a character who is is only there. Who bought a ticket and is now only there to kind of like learn how to do influencer <laughs> stuff. Yeah. So when people are coming up to me and asking me, because there's there some of them are quite self obsessed, you know, in that oh, sort of way, and like they just they, they don't really care about talking to you about what you do. They just want to talk about yeah. what they do. So they come up to me and we're just like, oh, like you know, mm, like I do this, blah blah. blah. Oh, so what do you do? It's like, oh, I just do like weak loops and all. You know, like like I do. You never do like fifteen second videos. Yeah, and you yeah, know, yeah. you put the thing on it, and then you kind of do like yeah. like sometimes I make videos of my ex and all. <laughs> yeah. You know, like and I was taking the piss out of the whole time until one of them turned around. He's like, "What the f- are you on?" <laughs> 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 like the, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but I proper got into roll. Like yeah, I was yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? I went for like a solid thirty-five minutes of just yeah. being this wee like, mm-hmm, yeah, no, 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 I'm in, no, no, just eight hundred followers. Like I just sort yeah. of you know around that mark, but I'm trying to get to a thousand so I can go live. <laughs> that, <laughs> that reminds me. Uh, after this podcast, I had to phone a guy from uh, I don't know if you saw on a uh, good friend of the podcast, uh, his account. Um, <laughs> right. He he did a rap for a budget appliances company Aye. for tumble drives. Aye, I've seen this. So too, then yeah. the guy from budget appliances contacted me and was like, uh-huh. "Listen, do you want to give away a tumble dryer on the <laughs> podcast?" And I was like, "One hundred percent yes." Aye. So he phoned me on two days ago. And yeah. I was like, "This doesn't work. I'll, I'll phone you tomorrow." Didn't phone him yesterday. Yeah. So when this ends, I need to phone him and be like, "Let's, let's see what we can let's, make let's, it work. let's give yeah, away yeah, yeah. a few tumble dryers for the boys." Um, like I'm, it's a weird twist, right? 
uh, with the way that can like certain people because obviously you want like there's categories, there's sections or there's arcs of of Northern Irish content you see all night, yeah. right? So you got like your classic influencer, you got the ones that go out and do, oh my god, guys, let's yeah. go and check out this, and you get the likes of the comedians and myself who do yeah. all the you know random skits and sketches. Cost is great as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, you've got this other sort of subsection that goes further down of people who just haven't figured it out yet and sort of refusing just to figure it out, you know. So maybe they go and they do, like, the live people are the weirdest people I've ever seen in my life. They freak me out a lot. Um, like, when I go on live, I, like, it's like people have a plan. Do you know what I mean? I think like I they're going on to try and make make co- like make uh, like money off it or something. Is it like so? Like someone will have like a deck of cards uh, stacked up. Uh, and uh, be like, yeah. Oh, if you send me like this gift that's worth fifty uh, quid, I right. have to smash it all. Right, right, right. Yeah. So there's or people like, like that. Seen right, the guy that taps the screen to get like a million. Uh, it's all, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. So there's people like that. Right, and then there's the Belfast version of that, yeah. which is like the ones who like go on and have no. They're in their wee ninety ground or whatever, yeah. uh, sitting uh, eating. The Chinese yeah, yeah, and yeah. a normal life like I don't know why people sit through this you know it really it really yes. weirds me out and then yeah, eventually yeah. like their wee other mate comes on and they're about 40 right mm-hmm. and they start like you know slobbering each other like f*** you Kelly yeah. on, f- <laughs> you. you know what I mean I gotta come over to your house and f- yeah. put in, put in your doors and all you know like and weirdly that blows up like that there's like a thousand people watching that at the time and then randomly for some reason it's like the, the early you know Roman times like people are fucking money at them like yeah. aye you yeah. tell her you, like, you, yeah, you yeah. tell her you know what I mean the it's, a, it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen like the way that the world is going right now yeah. I'm slightly concerned 100% for, you know. I mean you, there, you, you, it's really weird what blows up here you know like we were chatting just before this about uh-huh. a good friend of the podcast MZ you know oh, that's, that's my boy right there yeah, just yeah. like MZ my, my uh, guy, yeah, shout out to MZ I mean uh, I love NF too I'll say this <laughs> <laughs> if we can mend our relationship uh, and you come on the podcast uh-huh. it would make my day it do really you want me to would. offer the apo- I'll do an apology video for you for, for it yeah, will, yeah. You put, will you put sad music this in the post yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. MZ uh, we don't know each other personally you know and um, we don't need to know each other personally I am um, just want to say that Dylan is sorry, you know, for everything that's that's happened. My name's Daniel. Uh, you know what I meant. Um, <laughs> that Daniel, sorry. <laughs> um, he didn't. He didn't mean uh, anything that he said. He's really happy that you're getting um, all this massive success with the pizza people and and the tumble dry appliances. And he's really excited to hear your first uh, drop of the album. And uh, he told me there. Dan told me there. He's looking to become a rapper, and the reason he's so scared is because he wants, he, he's afraid of uh, the competition in Northern Ireland, because obviously it's just you. Um, he's hoping that um, he can use your studio soon, um, and he was just, uh, from the previous statement that he made to me earlier, because um, he's shy and he doesn't want to say this, uh, when he said to you about you opening your studio and revealing where it is, that was just out of concern, you know, because he just wants you to blow up for the best you can. 100%. Much love, much love, MC. You know, we got this, you know. Up MC. Everybody. Thanks, MC. <laughs> Thank you, John. Um <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Um Yeah, I mean, MC I'd I'd love to mend our relationship <laughs> and, and use the studio or something. Like I don't know, like Raps. it's just I it just baffles me what bros up. It really does. And I it's interesting that the three of us had spotted it last year. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been about I've been about for for a bit. Yeah. Um it's a, like Hey, I can't slag the man, right? I can't mm-hmm. because he's trying. Yeah. Do you know what? Really sincerely, he's like, he, yeah. like I don't know how far he's going to get, but he's fucking yeah, the man's yeah, trying. Yeah, you know what I mean? like, whether whether it's a genuine mental illness or a belief that he has that he's going to get there, he believes that he's going to. Get and maybe there. by association, he will. We don't know. We're all going to well, be raging if, if he if he ends up, in, yeah. you know, being on the top forty list or something. Oh, you know? I will lose my mind. Oh, I yeah, will yeah, absolutely yeah. lose my mind. I, 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 I don't mind. I think I'm a fan. There was a video going about. Uh, a fake video of like MZ Platt and Thompsons. I think, <laughs> I think genuinely the with oh, the power of this country, yeah, he could be that's chance. happening. He could be playing that's Thompsons. Happening. The, that's the, happening. What, what what is it? The uh, the Doomsday Clock is like closer yeah. to midnight yeah. than it's ever been yeah, 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 in terms yeah. of this. Like there is such a chance because you already seen it with like companies hopping on the yeah. MZ train. They're Big like, time. you know, yeah, yeah. and like it's going to happen. Aye, like, and like. People always remember back like a year ago. People always like Jelvis. I've no more respect yeah. for Jelvis. Oh yeah, I know oh, well, like, Jelvis. Is actually, guy. Jelvis, absolute I'm legend. Doing something with Jelvis in about. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it. Uh, well, actually, I, I'll tell you after. I can't. Aye, fair enough, fair enough. Aye, I, I, I think with your man MC, it's a strange. 
It's a strange. It could I, work. I, I, it, it could work. work. I'm I wish him all the I best. Think, just, I will put you. I will put both of you down uh, as as a bet okay. that in a year's time, MZ will um, have hit more followers than I have now. Oh, you know, that's which a, is, yeah, so that's strong, eighty. Yeah. So that's the number, MZ. Eighty thousand. There, there was you. there was a stage where I was like, this is going at an alarming rate. <laughs> <for this month." laughs> like to the point where it's one of those ones where like I think he'd probably admit himself possibly. He was almost like over overwhelmed with like it really was overnight. He just went, there you go. Yeah, uh, you know nothing he could really do about that. And he could he turn. Do you know the thing is, I keep saying this to everybody. He could turn it. Like yeah. he's taking it too seriously. He could turn it. See if he came on the podcast and he had a bit of crack and everyone was 100%. fine. He could turn his whole. He could flip his whole script. 100%. You know, like it's the same with the likes of like. Um, it's not in the same category at all, but the likes of like you know like Giddy and Jed and all the rest, yeah, yeah. like they they spent too long taking it way too seriously. People started ripping the piss out of them yeah. badly. You know what I mean? They are absolutely ripping them apart. And then they they fell in and they were like, right, okay, well we'll we'll go along with us and see how it goes. Yeah. And then they became like, it, it's a it's yeah, a system, yeah. like you know what I mean? And I think I think that's part of it. I think that's yeah. There's a wee bit of like. Again, I'm not MC, so like I don't know, I, you know, I I, I, I don't know. We know me. <laughs> we know, we know, I'm just Dylan, you know. So I I don't know, <laughs> I don't know like how someone takes out, especially like like I, I said right before this, you know. Uh, yeah, let's like that's how it is. A lot of accounts that you know, maybe aren't sincere with what they're yeah, they're 100%. Saying in the comments, but they, they are so good at like joking about it. Uh, that I, I am baffled if people like. Or like I couldn't tell you anymore of who's being serious because yeah. I posted a couple of videos, but I was like, really, I posted one that was like, uh-huh. you know that, that TikTok audio that's like, all oh, that work and more, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, I've been on this app for like three years, yeah. and I'm just blowing up, rapping about like washing machines and like, uh, you know, fucking fair play. Do you know I've never done a trend? I've never done a like a sound or that. Fair enough. Never. I just I don't know what it is yeah. about it. I just I, I it's not even a slag. I just never. There was never a point where I was like, I can make this work. Yeah, you know? I, I tried because I was, I usually am just like podcast clips really or something like that. And uh, the song was, I was sitting in the car, I was lifting someone and I was like, actually, I can, that's probably the best use of that song. I, I, can I get you, I get you. I was you. like, this, this could blow up. I didn't at all. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, I, I mean, I, I it was actually really heartbreaking on, uh, I think it was, it was Tuesday night. Yeah. Then we the, were doing a live. We were doing a live in the car uh-huh. and, um, and uh, MZ, MZ, Contacted me to say that they, we'd no longer be friends on TikTok and that I was being blocked, and you know, the heart breaks like it really does. <laughs> no, the apologies there, for apologies right. there. Dylan it's, has spoken. It's in his co- <laughs> Dylan is still Dylan's here. Spoken. Dylan's, you know, Dylan's apologized, but Dylan has Dylan's putting the foot further than <laughs> <laughs> he ever has. Oh, there you go. Um, but yeah, he's Dylan and Adam. Yeah, <laughs> let's let's do <laughs> let's do a big three way podcast where uh, you know myself, you, MZ. I'm in. Let's get someone I, else in there as well. I'm in. Shane Todd. Yeah, Shane Todd. <laughs> the lads. That's going to box in the middle of it. It's like an infinity war. Everything yeah. comes together. They're just empty like Thanos. Aye, aye, aye. I've got to come together to fight it. Yeah. Anna Christian, bring her in. Aye, aye, aye. Jelvis, yeah. she can get them all. in the corner or something. Uh, hey, yeah, yeah, they can do like a duet in the corner. Uh-huh. We'll get, I, we'll I, get a I, sling ring or whatever. Yeah. Jelvis will come in from Liverpool. Like. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> all his reaction to Jel- <laughs> Jelvis walk back in. Aye, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean... Power to you, MZ. I'd love to get you the podcast. Uh, yeah, I, um, I love the way we spent 15 minutes just apologizing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> please, please, please. Um, I think it's the first podcast back since you've been blocked, so it's a, it's a big one. Yes, it is a big one. It's big news. <laughs> like, I, had to, I mean, I was like, i got to speak about it. I was at some point during this because uh, yeah. uh, it was funny as well because, like, we were, we were, me and him were actually, like, you know, in terms of what TikTok teams, friends, like, actually, you know, friends. Ah, uh, yeah, of course, of course. And uh, someone asked him in a live stream, you know, like, opinions of Daniel Houston. And, like, you know, I'm not even being cocky when I say this. You know, he obviously knows who I am. Like, Aye. we've exchanged DMs. Ah, and stuff, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. videos. And uh, he just sat in the car and he went, don't know who that is, mate. And I, and I was like, come on here, lad. Like, you, you know you know who I am. But, uh, yeah. That's, um, yeah. Oversharing's a problem online. Oversharing's oh, a problem online. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? No, <laughs> like that's, that's what I would say. 100%. I think he's starting you know to figure out right now. I was sharing recently of a podcast clip. I don't know if you want to talk about it in the shower. Oh, yeah. I did a bit of a we're sharing recently in a podcast clip Love that. where, like, I, I said, which, like, it didn't blow up, which, uh, but it was one of those ones I, I kind of hoped it would blow up because I think it is a funny clip, but if no one sees it, it's just a bit weird, if that makes sense. <laughs> so it was me. I was in the shower and went for a fart in the shower and it wasn't a fart. Ah, <laughs> uh, you blew the ball. All three. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, splat attack. And uh, I was yeah. like, oh, well, poo now, me my pants. Or uh, not my pants, wasn't wearing any shower. Uh, like, uh, it'd be um, weird if you were. It would be really weird. <laughs> <if> <laughs> the story even weirder. Um, but then, so then, but this is the start of uni, and like, uh, 
my friends were in a car and I was I was just on a walk and they texted me, oh, we're about to listen to the new episode of the podcast. Uh-huh. And I mentioned it in the first 10 minutes and all three of them were in the car driving somewhere. And I was walking back from the shop going, oh, what no. Have I, what have I They're done? About yeah. to, and then next, you know, we have like a big class group chat. Next, mm-hmm. you know, Daniel. Just my, me- my name yeah, came I in, Daniel. What have I just listened to? And I was like, uh, oh, no. You did it. This you is done. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? You also have to be honest with your... You, you, Man, of course. Your listeners, yeah, know? yeah. The first joke I ever told, like on stage, I don't want to spoil too much of it. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. was literally about how I discovered I had like a, a mini third testicle. Nice. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, hey, I saw in, a clip. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was, um, I was nineteen. I was lying in the bath, and I was, um, I can't say what it was. Uh, not in, not sober. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, and I remember at the time thinking to myself, like, uh, at the TV, at the time there was mad, but he, like, back then it was mad for, like, testicular cancer. Everybody was constantly being, like, just going to check your balls. Yeah, yeah. And I never thought of it until then, because yeah. the paranoia started to kick in, you know. <laughs> and then I was like, right, okay, I may as well just have a wee feel. And, you know, at, when, I f- when I found a, a, a mini third, like, you know, almost like if you imagine, like, Yavin 4 and then, like, the, <laughs> the Death Star. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I found the Death Star in my nutsack, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm gonna die of cancer That's class. No you know what I mean? This is it. It's game over. Um and uh I went down I went down to the like the doctors or whatever and they were literally just like I like I had a this like I have another part of the joke, like the actual end of the joke's different, but like yeah. the real life story was that I went down to the doctors or I went down to the sorry, not doctors, nurse, like the hospital because I was like God, I'm I'm going straight there. Yeah. I'll wait at ours if it means I get more of my life back, you know. And I went in and I was a female uh nurse and I was literally just like this is the this is like the third time a girl's ever touched my balls, you know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, what am I, what, like, you know, I feel uncomfortable here, I was yeah. shriveling up, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? I was doing the opposite of what happened last time, yeah. you know? Um, and then eventually she told me it was some non-cancerous thing, and I was like, sweet, oh, what sweet. can I do with this, though? So how can I get rid of it? And she was like, well, um, we'll give you medication if that doesn't work, uh, you can operate on it. And I was like, you're going to cut my balls open? And then she was like, um, yeah. And I was like, okay, ah, uh, well, uh, what happens if I keep it? And she was like, well, it's not um, dangerous. And I was like, class, third ball it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you three them? Um, aye. Just a classic, you know, one, two. Uh, it's like two and a half, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Very good. Uh, yeah, I've got a little midget ball, you know. Name of the, the, name of the podcast. It's great. There you go. Yeah, name there of the podcast. Go. There's a, wee, there's, there's a, there's yeah, a bit yeah. for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so just before we go, any, anything right. to plug? Um, Stand up, obviously. Pavilion. Um, yeah. I'm in the pavilion 1st of April. If this is out by then. Nice. Um and then I've got a couple of shows coming up in the future. Um, check out. I guess you could check out. You don't even need to check out the channel. You know what I mean? Okay. It's 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no shout out to Emsy. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Emsy. Uh, uh, shout out to Jelvis. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Anna Christian. Uh, shout out to Jed and Giddy, but they're not in the same category. Those other ones. Um, <laughs> shout out to the furry. Shout out to Daniel. I'm shout Dylan. out to I'm Dylan. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Dylan and Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to the furries. <laughs> shout out to the furries. Shout the out to the, 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 the Batman insectoids. actor from Gotham. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, the Mandalorian yeah. that uh, Daniel slagged at one yeah. time. That was threatened Ooh, soon. Could you listen to <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, um, I think so shout out to Aaron, who's not on, on screen. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> <Aaron>. he's there. <laughs> uh, he's been there. Voice of God. Ah, he's like a fucking force ghost. You know? Did we mention anybody else during that podcast? Oh, shout out Shane William. Ah, Shane Willie T. Um... Yeah, where else? All the comedians. Yeah. All uh, shout out to God. Yeah. Because he's Bring with up. us all times. He is. Apparently. He is. Um. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much <laughs> for uh, listening to the podcast. Uh, <laughs> thanks very much to John for coming on. Uh, and I'll see you next week. Uh, Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.